Hi, my name is Philip Noonan and welcome to another physics coaching video. So I'm filming outdoors today, I'll explain why in just a minute. But first, the topic of today's video is how to enjoy your school holidays but still achieve the productivity and achieve the goals that you would like to and set yourself up for the rest of the year with your physics. So here's my top five. Number one, keep getting up at the same time each day but here's the twist. Uh, set your alarm down really, really low so it's just enough to wake you up. And when you do get up, just make sure it's just briefly to help a family member out with a chore. Like for me, it's just to hang a basket of laundry out that's just uh, finished overnight. Might, for you, it might be helping unload a, a dishwasher or helping a family member who's getting off to work, help them get their lunches ready or something. Just something that's short in time but makes a bit of a difference. But then uh, go back to bed for a little while and just hang out with a hot drink, a hot breakfast drink, and read something that you enjoy reading. For me, it's uh, my favorite uh, science, technology, and a startup companies newsletter. So uh, that'll help keep your body, check, uh, your body clock in check and be productive. So number two, uh, work on a topic for a little bit longer than you otherwise would during term time. So let me give you an example. So um, let's say you finished exercise 2A. Um, instead of moving on to the next subject, finish the second one if you can while you've got momentum, like get exercise 2B done. So see if you can get exercises done in blocks of two, say for each subject. So it becomes a bit like the spinning plates trick where if you can just keep those, space, those plates spinning just for that little bit longer, you're building up a lot more momentum with each and it's a habit that can last into the rest of the year and help you get more done. So that's number two. Number three, a little bit like the last one, if there's a topic that's been bugging you, that keeps coming up, that you can't quite understand yet, a good example in physics is Lenz's law, for example, the, in, for the direction of an induced current in a wire when you place a magnet in and out. Um, spend a bit more time on that and see if you can really nail it. Maybe do a bit of extra research on the internet. There's some great resources there. Or email your teacher. Or ask for the help of a coach or a tutor that you think might be able to help you really get it handled once and for all so that you can answer any question on it that comes up any time. That's number th uh, three. Uh, number four, uh, getting organised. So spend some time making sure you're stationary and everything's up to date, you've got everything you need. Um, and in particular, just your folders, maybe tidy out your school bag, get your folders all organized with plastic pockets. And in particular, any online folders like your cloud drive, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe save any worksheets that are on emails and uh, delete the emails. So you're reducing a lot of friction in your life and making yourself very productive. Um, and getting yourself set up for the rest of the year. So that's number four. Number five is maybe just limit social media uh, a little bit, particularly with school friends. Just let them know you're not ghosting anyone, but maybe just check uh, once a day or a couple of times a day rather than having it always on. Um, and that will help productivity as well. And it's a great time to catch up with a family member even extended family members that you haven't caught up with over the last few weeks because it's been so busy. Uh, so that's number five. And as a bonus, number six, uh, the reason I'm out here today is to, to get outside and enjoy the really nice weather we have at the moment um, after working perhaps for half a day or even early afternoon if you feel like it. Uh, because in the coming months, it might get a little bit cooler and darker. Uh, so it's a great time now to enjoy that. So let us know if any of that's uh, helpful, I hope it is, or if you have any ideas of your own that are a bit productive that you'd like to share, drop a comment. And if there's anything I can do to help you power through an exercise or get anything handled a little bit more quickly and thoroughly than you otherwise feel you would, let us know. And thank you for watching today's video.